Okay folks, a mistakeable sound of a banjo ukulele. Um, this is a particularly lovely instrument, if I say so myself. I did it all up in my workshop over there. And um, the first thing you notice about these models is this sort of perloid covering. I don't know what it's, the real name is Nacroplic or plaque or something, I'm not sure. I call it perloid, it's a bit like a fake mother of pearl. Now, although it, it does make it look nice, um, the main uh, practical purpose is on the, on the fingerboard, on, on a lot of old banjo utes, you see where, where the fingers go on the first three frets. Well, if it's covered with this stuff, you're never going to get anywhere on those frets, so it'll last forever. And um, what I've done, I've, I've put a new skin on it, as you can see. Well, his skin was about six months ago. Very nice skin. Um, unfortunately, a, a blob of French polish dropped on it there. You can hardly see it. But I'd like to, like to be honest. I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to knock a couple of quid off for the little mark there. Put new tuners on, which now sort of hold the tuning and are very smooth to work. I've added a few washers and things. And um, reset the action. That is the, the angle of the neck to the drum here. I've re reset that, which um, determines the action. That's the height of the string above the neck. It's, uh, I've set it really low. The lower it is, the easier it is to strum. But if the higher it is, it gets a bit louder. So I supply an extra bridge so you can vary the, the, the sound, the volume and stuff. So um, all in all, as I said, it, the, the make is on here, Broadcaster, that tells you it. Quite a, quite a well-known make. It's not a particular cheap, it's not a cheapo this one, it's not the bottom of the range by any means. Apart from being really nicely made, um, if you take this resonator off, it's, it's, the resonator sort of rises in the middle. It's a really meaty piece of wood, not sure what wood it is, but quite heavy. And when you look round the drum, it's not made of plywood or anything, it's made of really nice thick wood. So it's, it's a go gorgeous piece of stuff. And also it's like a through neck, a bit like Dallas D's and Dallas C's. I don't know if the Dallas C has that, but the, but the neck goes all the way through to the end there and has a little adjustment on the inside. Um, the only slight uh, defect, if you want to call it that, is there's the, the back resonator is slightly misshapen. I don't know if you can see. It doesn't really detract from it. It might even add to it. You know, it, it, a bit folky. It's quite... not sure whether you can see that, but um, a little misshapenness after 80 years is, is to be allowed, I think. I think we'll all be a bit misshapen after 80 years. I know I am and I'm not even there yet. And um, well, the other interesting thing I've done is on the original um, this had for the tailpiece it just had like four little studs in the back that you tie the strings to like a lot of older ones do. Well I've, I don't know if you can see this, I've put a Gibson tailpiece on here. Can you see that? It means when you strum instead of the, the knot ends rubbing here it's just nice and smooth. Oh, a little tip from Jasper. Um, when you're strumming, make sure you've got no shirt sleeve or jacket sleeve flapping about. Especially the, the oldies that wear cardigans when, when, the, when the woolen sleeve dangles and hits the vellum and makes it a dull sound. I usually... Good idea to be naked from the wrist to the elbow, if you know what I mean, and then you won't risk that. Um, Oh, the other interesting thing was, I found in the case um, this picture. Can you see it? It says, Madam, Madam Needham's Flutterbys. And um, I should imagine the person, one of the people that owned this in the past would have been in this troupe and might have even played there. There is an instrument in this, in this picture, but it, it's not this banjo ute. So maybe a bit of um, internet research might be able to trace more on this banjo which is quite interesting. I know you, you Americans do love the provenance and stuff but it is, it is quite interesting finding the history. Anyway not much else to say about this and um, whoever buys this I'll supply an extra bridge of a sort of different height, supply strumming tips, extra strings, felt plectrum and a lot of help in, on how to begin playing. I've done a, a, a YouTube video uh, Jasper Happy's ukulele lesson, which is for beginners, which, which gets you playing straight away. You only need a couple of chords, you know, three chords, and you can play anything. Those three chords, you, you, you guarantee you can play anything. Um, I've got it. I've got this tuned. They call it standard tuning. 
A E C G. But um, you can do the old fashioned tuning on this and you uh, can get away with it. Basically, the old fashioned tuning was exactly the same, it's slightly higher to um, enable you the volume of this to carry where they didn't have amplifiers and things. If anyone wants to discuss about the old fashioned tuning, just get in touch with me, jasperhappy at hotmail.com. Anyway, um, I'll be putting this on eBay hopefully, so check it out. And if you've got any questions, get in touch. Okay, thank you very much.